Hi, CEO Prepper here. Just want to cover a few basic things for those that are beginning prepping or thinking about beginning uh, to be preppers. So, you got to remember one thing prepping is a way of life, it is a mindset. You always have to ask yourself, Am I prepared for a disaster? And we're not just talking any natural disaster, we're talking every emergency conceivable. So, you want to prepare as best you can for every emergency. In the north, we have snow, we have tornadoes, we have thunderstorms, we have flooding. You know, we have a lot of weather-related uh, catastrophes up here. But at the same time, in other parts of the country, you have earthquakes, hurricanes, uh, forest fires, uh, volcanoes, etc. Uh, also, you got to think of the wild cards, like say you're out of a job or something like that. Uh, just things out of the ordinary. Number two, don't advertise your preps. It's like telling the person with the biggest mouth in school that you're dating something, somebody that you really don't want anybody else to know that you're dating. It's also like putting pictures of yourself flashing a bunch of money on Facebook or Instagramming you and, your bunch, you and a bunch of your friends with a lot of cash. As long as we know a name, location, or anything like that, anybody can find you and anybody can take you out and take what you got. Same thing with prepping. Do not let everybody know what you have or how much of whatever you have. Why? Because they will be coming for you. You'll be their number one target when they can't get it from the store. So best thing is quit telling everybody. Keep it a secret. Um, tell those that really need to know. Uh, and because the more you tell, the more they're like, more than likely they're going to come and tell you to give it on up. And believe me, they will not come as your friends. They'll come as people trying to survive. So best thing to do is keep your OPSEC in check. OPSEC is operational security. You want to keep that secure. Number three, don't put yourself on doomsday preppers. Now, I like doomsday preppers. I actually have learned a lot from the show, and it got me thinking. But at the same time, when you think about OPSEC, your your OPSEC gets blown the minute you put yourself in that show. Why? They show where you live. They show what, around what city you're in. You know, they show your toys. They show how you're preparing. This, that, and the other. Your OPSEC's completely blown at that point. Now, granted, you may not show them everything, but you show them enough. And strangely enough, as much as this guy's not a prepper, let alone a marauder, he did bring up an interesting point. They're watching. And they're pinning where you are. So the best thing to do is keep yourself off that show. Otherwise, you're basically sending a nice blip on the radar telling everybody, Hi, I'm here. Or, even better, Hi, I am here and I have a gun. So, you know, don't tell anybody. That way the marauders, uh, people that didn't prepare the government, they don't know. That way they're not watching you. Because if they are watching you, at some point they're going to come up and say, Hey, Give it up. So best thing to do is keep your OPSEC in check, keep it from getting blown, and keep everything quiet because prepping is a mindset. So you must keep everything that you do prepping-wise a secret. Now, you want to get self-defense trained from experienced pros. Those that have been in law enforcement, military, they know what they're doing. Um, you also want to go for martial arts, things like Krav Maga, Taekwondo, Jiu-Jitsu, firearms training, hand-to-hand -hand combat training, uh, non-lethal weapons training, that kind of thing. You want to get as much training as you can from experienced pros because you will need it in an emergency situation. Number five, know your enemy. Your enemy is, I'll just say it like this, everyone. Everyone's your enemy. Because you may be singing Kumbaya one minute, like the liberal like to, like to make you think. The next minute, it's mass hysteria and pandemonium. Why? Because people like things when they're normal. They can't handle it when it's not normal. So it's not all going to be sunshine and rainbow ponies. It is mass hysteria. It is a madhouse. And when they're done looting and robbing the stores, they'll start in the cities. You know, people will die. People will get uh, robbed, and once they're with, through with that, they'll move into the countryside. So the best thing for you to do is to be prepared. Whether you're bugging in or bugging out, always be prepared. Always keep yourself armed. Always keep yourself trained. Number six, beware of the marauders. Now, once again, 
This guy is not a marauder. He likes to think he is. Whatever he's smoking, he really needs to cut it down. He's not even a prepper. I'd be surprised if this guy get up, can get up a ramp without running out of breath. Either way, he's an easy target. He's too big. So just remember, this guy is not a prepper. He's not even a marauder. He's just some guy looking for 15 minutes of pain. However, these guys are marauders. Guys that have been in the military. Guys that have been in law enforcement. It's easier for them to observe, calculate, and figure out how to overwhelm their targets. So those are the kind of guys that are going to be marauders. Ones that know what they're doing. They've done it, they've been trained in it, and they know how they're going to come, take it from you, and believe me, getting killed may be the least of your worries. Number seven, build yourself a prepping team. Prepping team can be your neighbors, it could be your friends, it could be your high school buddies, it could be, you know, the bridal party at your wedding. But just remember you're not Rambo, it was just a movie. You know, you want to get your family, your friends, whoever, anybody with that mindset of being a prepper together, trained, and that way you guys can form a unit. A unit has a better chance of surviving. The more you think like you're Rambo, the more you're going to get killed. And Always be prepared, maintain your OPSEC, and take care of yourself and each other.